Hey, what is going on everybody? Scott Gaming here, thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more Project Hospital. Uh, some stuff has happened, so I'm going to talk you through it. I've I've been trying to figure out exactly what was missing from our our general surgery department, and we got there. I, f I eventually figured it out. So let's, let's quickly talk through what we've done. First off, we hired another couple of doctors because we were getting more patients than we could handle. Uh, I also moved these HDU rooms, I think that's what they're called, into the ward so you can see here there's a number of uh of smaller rooms although this one's slightly bigger with uh with these beds in and then i put another row of normal hospital beds in here these patients have got heads i promise they're not they haven't been decapitated what i was actually missing mostly was this the operating theater i didn't see it but we've added this in and now we're actually able to do surgery um, and that was pretty much it. So we've still got our normal our normal rooms here. I've got more people working overnight as well. We've got um, the uh, cardio and the uh, the the um, ultrasound guy or the lady doing uh, doing jobs. Never seen anyone use this room yet. Um, but I thought what we do today is is go up a floor. So one of the things we need is an intensive care unit because we've got a group of patients who, um, you know, if they're in overnight and they struggle, we can't treat them. Uh, so I thought we could have an intensive care unit, but we haven't really got much room. So I thought, you know what? Let's put it on a new floor all to itself. It's a bit of an odd one, but we're going to put it up here. These are the, the elevator I've already put in. We can see we've got 35k. Uh, we're going to put it in up here. I don't know what I need for for this. We need an on-call room, a nurse's station, ICU. Intensive care units provide superior medical care to critical patients. Um, I don't know if this means we can have multiple people in one room. I don't think it does. Um, but we're going to put it up here for now. We're going to grab our walls, I think, first of all. Um, let's pick this. I don't suppose it really matters. Let's pick this blue color and let's have a wall that goes down here. Oops. Along here. I think what we'll do is we'll have it go along here for now as well. And then down here. And I say, would you look at me rotating the camera? I still need to come back and do all the all the floors. I haven't done all that yet. But okay, and then we want to put in like a corridor down here, I think. Uh, so let's have a little look at what we need. We need a uh, an on call room. Four by four this needs to be at the very least. So let's do let's do six by six over there. Um, a nurse's station. This needs to be four by three. So I guess we could have something like that. I don't know. Maybe we'll make it. Maybe we'll make it one more. Okay, we'll have it. We'll have it like that. Then we've got an ICU, and these are four by four. I think they were saying. I don't know how I feel about them being this small, but they do fit in, which is nice. And again, I don't know how many of these I'll need. I'm guessing not this many. In fact, we should probably start with reduced numbers, right? Probably. We should probably start with less. Um, let's get rid of these. I don't know how I feel about this one being bigger. Let's get rid of that. Let's try this again. Um, I'm going to have three in I think for now and then in the corner here we're going to put a janitor's closet Boop. there we go and then we're going to have um, over here I guess we'll have a restroom and a common room how long does this need to be four by four let's um Let's do something like that. Okay, so this is our this is supposedly our, our hospital for ICU. So let's uh, let's get back to the walls and let's um, get some of these back up. some of these across here i don't know how 
tight an ICU room is going to be, we should probably look at what we need to put in here. A modern hospital bed. Yeah, this could be a little tight. We might need to rethink this. Okay, well, let's put you in. Uh, defibrillator on the wall. So let's get you here. Um, these scanning machines. I guess we need a couple of these. And we'll get one of you. Disinfectant dispenser. You there. Wall mounted equipment cupboard. We'll put that up there in the corner, I guess. Uh, you want one of these. Life support. Is that different to this or is this the same thing? No, it looks like you need both of those. A mobile workstation. Can I put that there? Do I need these? Does this go on one of these things? I'm not sure. Let's spin the camera around. Hmm. I think this is probably a bit on the small side, you know. Okay, we'll get you there. Are you blocked? I don't know if that works. It looks a bit, looks a bit wrong. A fast USG. We can't get to this. Yeah, this feels a, a bit on the small side. Move you to this on here. Get a bed socket over here. Do we need a stretch. You don't need a stretcher. So this is supposedly what we need. Look how much money that just cost for one room. Holy crap. Okay. Um apparently this is this is everything we need. I don't know how I feel about this though. That means I need, well, to make any money because all of our nurses and stuff are going to be really expensive, right? I think we're going to need to run a few more days without it. I think we're going to need to run a few more days without it to get more money. Uh, so I'll probably put a pause in here and I'll be right back when we've got a bit more cash and we can make a few more of those rooms. How much does it cost to put those rooms in? I wasn't really paying attention. If I go up here and prefab it, Oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, I also don't like how small this is. I can put it in. Uh, this is. Let's see how much this costs. Twenty grand. Okay, twenty-two grand to be exact. Okay, so I'm going to let this run on. We'll make. Uh, we'll make that back over a couple of days. Uh, probably about three or four and then we'll uh, as you can see we've got quite a few uh, few patients in if i click on these guys you'll see that they are going to pay us pretty handsomely for what we're doing so i think keeping keeping people in who are in this in this state um to then get treated with icu if we have to means we should be uh, we should be pretty well off because we're going to keep that that money in the in the hospital at the moment we're having to send them off and i don't think that means we get the initial uh initial money the other thing that happened is we we did surgery on someone who didn't need surgery uh, and they find us 20k for it uh, not ideal uh, but i like the idea of this i like the idea of having our own little uh, elevator that goes up to icu i'm not sure i'm not sure an elevator is the wisest move um you know having an elevator go straight up to the icu because normally you have that on the ground floor we could have maybe squeezed it in here but let's see uh, and we still need to buy our ambulances but i wasn't sure it was the right thing to do um, but uh, I'll put a cut in here and we'll be right back uh, when I've got some more money. Okay, so we are back and we've got a patient patient collapsing, collapsed. What's wrong with me? I can't talk. A patient collapsing. That's the one. David Wright, what's wrong with you? I mean, you've literally just walked in the door, mate. Um, you went to reception and then and then fainted. 
Uh, so we've got some cash. It's been a struggle. We uh, it took a little bit longer than I thought it would because uh, we did some surgery incorrectly and had to pay £20,000 fine. Look at all the blood over here. Anyway, let's get back to our intensive care unit. So we were, we put these two rooms. I hate these rooms, I have to say. They're too small. I don't like them. Anyway, we're going to get back to it. Um, what do we need over here? We need um, some desks. So we'll get some of those in. Don't know how many we need. We get some computers in there. There we go. Um, can I put any of these up? Oh, I can look. This is nice. I like this. Do you need a printer? No, you don't. You need some office chairs. Okay. And you need some stretchers. And then you need a meal tray. There you go. Okay. And then you need a door, I guess. That might help. Look at these doors. They don't match. God damn it. Okay. Um, what about over here? We need something similar, hey? There we go. We get those in. Again, I don't know how many uh, how many I need, but we'll get them in there for now anyway. You do need a printer. Boom. Have this giant one. That's all they need. They need a door, though. They do need a door. Um, and we'll put it this side. There you go. Okay. And then what do we need? We need a no unauthorized access door over here for janitors. Um, over here you can have a couple of shelves and a couple of carts. And then we want some more walls. Uh, what ones this time? These ones, I guess. Uh, and we need to do some stuff in the bathroom. here and then we'll put a door just there lovely okay um we need some of these we need some of these walls up right this bit's always a little bit weird it always always looks a bit odd Doors. Hello? Oh, have I put the wrong... Put the wrong walls up. Put the wrong down walls up. How do I get rid of the walls? Oh, man. What a nightmare. Okay, everything's gone. Uh, what walls did we have up previously? Was it one of these? I feel like it was one of these, but no, it must have been you. Perfect. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Water closets. Boom, 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 boom. Couple of mirrors. Um, right, let's try this again. So we want these. To, is this what I did wrong? I need to put this wall across here. Is that what you're telling me? And then I can put the doors in. There we go. Okay, and then we need a little break area. Um, I'm going to come in and do the, the, the walls behind all this at some point, I promise. Uh, but at the moment, at the moment, I think we'll stick with what we've got for now. Uh, right, you want a bookshelf? 
a sofa. Get a TV up here. Get some fruit juice over here. Why not? Dining table. Um, with some chairs. Oh, come on. I thought I clicked on a colour. Rubbish. A water dispenser and a coffee machine, I guess. Oh. I don't know if they have to pay for that or not. I'm not sure. Okay, I think that's everything that they need up here. Okay, I think we're good to go. I mean, it doesn't look pretty. I think we just need to put a floor in. Uh, one of the other things I was thinking about is we're probably going to have an issue with how people get over here because they could... This is where our, our hospitalization ward is. They could collapse here and they have to run all the way over to this elevator to get in, which is a bit crap. Uh, okay, let's um, let's get some people then, right? Maybe just one for now of each. Look at this lady. Wowzer, in you come. Okay, we, we're good over here, are we? What are we missing? Corridor, we should do all of this as a corridor. Still missing something. Elevator. Well, we've got the elevator. It's here. It's right here. Um, what are we missing? Staff at night. Okay, well, let's do that as well then. I guess it's you. And you, I guess. Okay, objective complete. Intensive care is in. Look at these dudes all going down in the elevator. wonder where they're going. So we now have intensive care if we need it. So I'm going to save up for an ambulance as well. Um, but we, we should be pretty good. These guys can just chill out. There's nothing to do here. There is nothing to do. What, a, what an amazing job. Okay. But when as the days go on, people are obviously going to uh, to need intensive care. And they'll be rushed through these corridors. I still think I'll move this across a bit and have a corridor here. Through these corridors to the elevator, up the elevator, and to safety. Maybe not safety, you know, but... The other thing I want to do while we're here, I want to... I want to... What do I want to do? I want to... The doctor's office. How big does that need to be? Four by four. How big is this? Five by four. I'm just going to put a couple in here. Need to do the foundation, right? Okay, and then we need to put some walls around it. So what's that? Green. Single stripe green. Okay. Um, you can come along here. Need a couple of doors. You can have a couple of blinds in there. I don't I don't know where we're gonna have room. But never mind. Okay. Right, you, what do you need? You need an exam table. Your rubbish bin. Disinfectant. 
Yes, I can put that above the bin. An equipment cabinet. Can I put that here? I can. And I'm guessing I can put that there. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, we're looking at the wrong room. What else? We need the eye exam poster. You can't go there for some reason. Nor there. Why? Why would that be a thing? That's ridiculous. Okay. Um, medical light. We need a desk. I don't know what. Oh, where do we go? I don't know why this is telling me we can't get to this. Need a PC. And a printer. I want to put just a normal chair in here as well, I think. Just there. What else are we missing? This. Oh, we didn't... I'd say it wasn't missing because of that. It's just... It was a different thing. I see. Not accessible for staff. Okay, well, we can put a door in here, so don't worry about that. Um... There you go, lovely. Is that all we need? Missing equipment. There's still something missing. What's missing from this room? Hello? I'm not sure what's missing. Missing equipment. Missing staff. Something is missing. Hmm. I don't think anything's missing. What is happening here? Okay, let's try and move it all to this room. Fine. They're all okay, right? I think we're all okay so far. equipment there's something there's something missing here and I don't know what I feel like everything is in here let's just unpause it and see just missing stuff okay fine so that was a bit weird um, but what we can do is come and grab this and put it there lovely Okay, and then I think we can hire another doctor. There's a couple of reasons I'm doing this. Um, I need a floor. Very expensive. You're terrible. Let's get you in. Let's get let's get an expensive-ish one in. Okay, you'll do as well. Okay, so we've got a couple more doctors. We probably don't need to, but the, one of the reasons I want to do that patient is collapsing. Are you going to need to go to the ICU? Let's have a little look. Palpitations. Holy crap. Heart monitoring. So you're going to TC high, uh, hospitalization. Well, we've already got someone in there. I wonder if we can... If we can... Um, Be this. I don't really want that door there. Cost us loads of money. We're in debt again. But now we've got a second room, so we might be able to look after that lady. You're about to leave. Well, hopefully we can deal with that now. We've got more doctors. Okay. 
So now we've got some hospitalization for people. You're about to leave as well, but I think hopefully we'll start to take care of this a little bit. Is anyone up here in ICU? No one. People just sitting around doing whatever they like. Okay, as I was saying, one of the things I want to do is old Dr. Scott Dog that is now an attending is level three. He started as an intern. He's now level three and we get to get specialization. So we've chosen the, uh, the critical care specialization. Tomorrow, we haven't got enough money. Tomorrow, we're going to send him on training maybe if we ever pay off our debts because we've got two more doctors who should be able to take care of the, uh, the situation for us over here. We treated 50 people with 920 bucks in debt um, but that should be sorted out by the number of people we've got in here look there's loads of them palpitations and weight loss you need uh, an IV inf infusion and beta blockers I wonder if we're just going to leave you here Yep, I think we're done for the day. Jessica Green is collapsing. Someone coming to help? Oh my god, we're having to defib. Okay, she's still alive. That is good news. Wonder, do we send her up to intensive care? I mean, we could, couldn't we? We're not getting any closer to figuring out what's wrong with her either. You've come to grab her. We're just leaving her here. Here comes someone. Oh no, he's been and gone. We're just leaving her here. No one knows what's wrong with Jessica Green. No one cares. Uh, but we've got a lot of patients in here, so the good news is... Tomorrow, we're 17 grand in debt. We should see a reasonable amount of that come back. Let's uh, let's speed this up. Renovation of nearby hospitals uh, causes 10% more patients to come. So it's going to be busier tomorrow. Okay. Maybe we won't let Scott Dog do his, uh, do his training. Uh, Barbara Scott, you're waiting for observation. I mean, I guess these guys will come and look at you at some point, right? Like they're going for a break. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to whatever she was called? Where did she go? She, she paid her money and she's leaving. What? Okay, we've given her a... We've given her a diagnosis and we've charged her and we've sent her out. That 800 bucks is well worth the 20 grand or whatever we paid for this building. Or for this room. Okay, let's speed this up again. Straight on until morning. Um, we start at 7 and then what happens is these guys, it's great, these guys all get up and go to the toilet at eight uh, 7 o'clock and then they come back and pay their bills. Really good. I don't know about you, but I'd be running out of the, running out of the hospital so I didn't have to pay. Um... I don't know if we need as many doctors as we've got in uh, in the late shift, in all honesty. Look, they all go, look, look at them all going to the loos, different loos as well, because there isn't enough toilets for everybody. I wonder if anyone used the elevator to go up there's a toilet. I don't think so. And then they all come back, and at 8 o'clock, boom, start paying the bills. We're 20 grand in debt now. That's not ideal. There we go, but we can see it slowly ticking down. 16 grand, oh dear. Um, someone's coming for surgery um, and oh no this I like This I, I don't know if this is the same doc I don't know how you tell which doctor saw them I don't know how you tell who was the doctor that treated them in the first place but uh, problem with, with their, their throat we didn't even look in their mouth I love it. Just like, what are we doing? I bet that was Scott Dog. So I've taken off the uh, the diagnosis is from from Scott Dog. Um, are these guys getting getting patients? 
Hello? I don't know if they are. Why aren't you getting patience? What's going on? Um, do you need a corridor? That can't be it, right? Why aren't they getting patience? Hello? We put them here to help out with the, the current patient problem. What's happening? Okay, let's try... Try knocking down this and see if that helps. No one. Not a soul. So does this, is this telling me that something's missing? No, you've got everything you need. So why are you not in the doctor's offices? We've got eight of them. Why are you not in the... There's 18 people waiting. Why are you not seeing people? Hundred percent doctor rating. We're paying you loads of money to not see any patients. Okay, what if we I'm sure this isn't the answer. What if we we haven't got any money? Is it because they haven't got flooring? Is that what it is? Okay, I'm just going to... Let's try this. Okay, they've got up and they've gone somewhere. They're going for a break. Employee with no workspace. We've got, how do we, oh no, I don't know how to see staff, hold on. Staff table. Um, this is specialization. Department, is there any without a department? How do I see it without this on? How do I just see staff? Doctor mode, that's not the answer. Oh, are they back? Are they now back in there? No? Oh, look. Are you the ones I just hired? You must be. workload none what is happening over here they keep coming in sitting down and then leaving again any patients coming this way hooray we got some finally there's about a billion patients waiting That should help, right? That should help with our current crisis of uh, of patients coming in. I don't think there's anyone in the ICU yet. No one, not a soul. But eventually we'll get back to, uh, to 35k. We'll be able to buy an ambulance. Our objectives are buy one ambulance, two ambulances, and three ambulances. They're 35k each. There's no clear diagnosis. Okay, um, this is a problem, right? We need a CT scan. So we have a choice here. We can either give him some dialysis or give him some dialysis. I'm going to go with the dialysis. Okay, maybe that maybe that will happen. Okay, I mean, if any if worst case scenario is we charge him, right? We've seen 55 patients. We've got some money. And since we've got some money, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some floors down because this annoys me. There 
we go. Be nice to get like a CT scan over here as well, because I've noticed that come up quite a few times. Um, so clinic hours have ended. Eight people went home, nine people went home without being seen, but 61, that's a record for us. 61 people. A fair few people in here as well, so we should um, we should see uh, a bit of uh, bit of money coming in. I also I saw some people going in the waiting room, so I've changed the waiting room up a little bit. Rooms with critical workload. Is there? I don't know the best way of seeing that. The uh, the next ray machine is one. There's got to be a better way of seeing this, but I don't know how. Over here, the ultrasound. Okay, I don't think there's much I can... I mean, I could put another one in here. I'm not that worried about it, I don't think, for now. And again, we're in debt. No one in the ICU. A couple of cleaners that have the easiest job in the world. Uh, let's uh, let's go on to the next day. I uh, I think we're going to call it here. We've got our ICU up and running. I need to go around and, and fix up some of this building because it's a bit of a mess. Um, I'm a little bit worried as well that everybody comes up here and they have no other way of getting out. But um, they they can only go this way because we've put this room here. I guess we could move this across and have this as a corridor again. Um, but maybe we can do a better design of having the corridor come up here and go this way. Uh, we can fill in some of these bits on the floor. I don't know if you need. Yeah, I guess you need a foundation below for the, the hospital floor in, which is a bit of a nightmare. But I guess what we could do is we can make all of this intensive care and have a corridor. So we'll come off this way and go all the way down here, maybe. I don't know. Um, or we could just keep this kind of completely self-contained. You can't go this way. You have to come down and go through this way if you want to get here. Seems a bit silly, but maybe that's what we could do. Um, I think what we might do, though, is put a, a sort of a, a pause on this series for a bit. Um, we've been playing for quite a while. We've got to a point where we've, we're doing okay. Uh, it'd be nice to, to see us sort of not go in debt every night, but that's currently what happens. Um uh, be nice to see a patient in the ICU. Um, next time we play, we can we can buy the, the ambulance and we can work on some of these other units i think uh, thank you so much for watching if you want to see more of this you're gonna to have to let me know in the comments uh, please hit the like button subscribe button follow us on twitter at gaming we'll see you again soon thank you